The start of Brett Pozolinski's senior season has been quite extraordinary. The Milwaukee track and field high jumper has broken the school record three times. He won his second league indoor title at the conference championships two weeks ago and is now making his first trip to the NCAA championships later this week. Something he says is even a bit of a surprise for him. Coming into my senior year, I always had that goal to jump seven feet, and it's kind of been there for a couple of years, and uh, I was kind of set at that, and hopefully uh, getting to regionals outdoor, never really imagined anything indoor. So um, I would say probably making the regional meet. The, uh, he was about a centimeter off last year, so that was probably the goal, get there, and then whatever happens from there, you can get to the NCAA championships. He kind of blew my expectations away with uh, his 7-2 jump a couple weeks ago, and qualifying for the NCAA meet. It's been awesome. Coach Heiler says he's seen a great progression from Pozolinski over the years and knew a strong senior season was certainly within his grasp. Yeah, I've, and kind of as his career has progressed too because he jumped probably about 6'7 consistently as a sophomore, then around 6'9 consistently as a junior, 6'10. Now he's a senior, he's jumping around 6'11 consistently. So it's been kind of a gradual progression. You've seen him get better over the years and it's been awesome. Uh, Seeing all these guys progress has been great. They're great kids to work with, Brett especially. He's a student of the, the game or the event. Uh, he picks up what I say, can change things in an instant. So it's been a lot of fun working with him and all the others. Pozolinski qualified for this year's national meet as one of the top 16 high jumpers in the entire nation. His qualifying height of 2.19 meters or seven feet, two and one quarter inches is by far a new school record a height he achieved at a meet that wasn't even originally on the schedule. Well, the funny thing was we were supposed to go back to Grand Valley and after jumping 6-6 six, six there and um, doing that throughout the years, I kind of asked Coach Pete, I'm like, hey, can we uh, go somewhere else? So going to Platteville, I mean, I, it was in the back of my mind, I better do pretty good because Coach Pete like, hooked us up and let us go do another meet. And um, just the whole atmosphere there, my one coach said it was a great place to jump and I got there and I, I was a little hesitant about it, but then, um, once I started to get going, and um, it was just an awesome place to jump, and I really didn't expect to do that well, and it kind of just fell into place once I got there. It was crazy. I mean, I really wasn't even, I was getting to the point where I didn't even know what I was jumping at. Um, I, I hit the 260, and I just had no more expectations. I'm like, whatever I get from here, it's going to be um, a good day regardless. And then uh, just stepping up that last jump and making it, making it count was awesome. Now the fourth time a Panther has made it to Nationals in the last six years, Pozolinski will look to add another chapter to his already incredible season. Um, my expectations are just kind of um, taking that whole experience, obviously do well. Um, it's just going to be a crazy experience. I just hope to have a lot of fun there and hopefully uh, do well. And... Um, I try not to set any expectations. He's, he'll do great. I'm not, I'm not worried about him. He's got the confidence, the ability to compete with those guys. So I know he'll do his best and hopefully come out with an all first team All-American. That'd be awesome.